Hello everyone. Am I audible? Yes. Yes, sir. So, uh, so let's start uh, today's presentation. Uh, so my topic for this seminar is accelerometer sensor. Uh, so I am Intakhab Khan, uh, VTP 2984, uh, under the guidance of Professor Ray Muthrasan. So uh, the the PPT is uh, framed in this way. Now first we'll be seeing introduction, and then what are the types. Uh, working of each types of uh, accelerometer sensor and their applications, advantages, disadvantages, as well as manufacturers. We'll be understanding the working of some uh, accelerometer sensor with the help of some videos. So uh, let's start. So what is accelerometer sensor and why it is used? So accelerometer sensor is an electronic sensor which measures the acceleration in all the three axes, like uh, a horizontal axis, the longitudinal axis, lateral axis, and transverse axis, or vertical axis. All right, so when the vehicle is moving, uh, we need to know the acceleration uh, of uh, a vehicle in all the three axes so as to uh, control uh, either active suspension or su suspension or uh, uh, airbag system, uh, and then there are many more vibration sensors which are attached with the vehicle to understand uh, where the vehicle is accelerating, in which axis it's accelerating. So it, uh, this uh, accelerometer sensor uh, do not provide us uh, the acceleration about the axis, like uh, it won't provide us yaw, pitch uh, and roll, but it will provide the lateral, uh, the horizontal, vertical and longitudinal acceleration. So what happens is, uh, this accelerometer sensor senses uh, uh, the, the acceleration in each and every axis and converts that into electrical signals. Now, this electrical signals is sent to ECU, for uh, which is a computer attached to the uh, vehicle. Now, what happens is based on these uh, acceleration values, uh, the there are different controls like uh, stability control or measurement of vibrations and shocks for uh, active suspension system or even the knock sensors some some of the knock sensors or vibration sensors of the engine are uh, uh, works on this uh, principle of accelerometer sensor so uh, what are the types of accelerometer sensors uh, based on the working it's based it's divided into capacitive piezo resistive and piezo electric sensors so we will be understanding each and each and every one how how this this type of uh, accelerometer sensor works uh, so first one is uh, capacitive accelerometer so let me have a pen so uh, you can see over here uh, it is uh, it is a system with uh, parallel plates uh, having the connections like this plate and this this plate have connections uh, uh, have an electrical supply. So in this, uh, if there is a separation between two plates, we understand that uh, the, there is a insulator in between. So it acts as a capacitor. So when, when the vehicle accelerates uh, in this direction, let us assume uh, it's accelerating in, uh, in this direction, the, uh, the pseudo force will act in the opposite directions due to which this uh, mass attached with the springs uh, to the frame of the of the body of the accelerometer sensor uh, moves, which is uh, this this due to this movement, the distance of separation between the plates changes. Like you can see C1 and C2. Now, as we understand uh, how the capacitance changes, is that uh, we we have the law, uh, we have the formula for capacitance that is A epsilon naught by D, which D, where D indicates the distance of separations. When when the uh, distance of separation between plate changes, uh, the uh, the capacitance changes. Uh, so as we know, capacitance with the capacitance, the potential difference between the plate will also in, uh, change, and hence the keep uh, the ECU will sense this potential difference change and uh, uh, manipulate it uh, to the acceleration. So this is a single axis accelerometer. There is one more uh, accelerometer uh, based uh, working on capacitive accelerometer, uh, which is a three axis ac uh, accelerometer, which we'll be seeing in the slides now we'll be understanding uh, how capacitive uh, accelerometer works by with the help of a video vehicles and modern consumer electronics are unthinkable without acceleration sensors the sensors detect a vehicle impact as well as the smallest movements of a smartphone or wearables 
The acceleration sensor consists of a signal processing chip and a micro-mechanical comb-like structure. This one is the capacitor. These combs form a capacitor, and the distance between the microstructures determines its capacity. The blue part of this structure is movable. Depending on acceleration or deceleration, they change their position relative to each other. The resulting change in capacitance is detected by the integrated electronics, converted into a measured value, and output into a voltage signal. So I hope you understood uh, how this works. Uh, now these are all mains devices. This is very, very small devices which is attached to the uh, vehicle. Now uh, this is a three axis accelerometer. What happens is, uh, uh, we just uh, we don't actually need uh, to measure acceleration in only one direction, like in vehicles. We need uh, acceleration in all the three directions. So uh, the further advancement of uh, single axis accelerometer is the three axis accelerometer, in which we can measure the acceleration in x directions, y directions, and z direction. Now x and y is very much similar, which I was uh, I was explaining in one axis accelerometer. But the z, z axis accelerometer is uh, a kind of uh, different uh, works on a different concept like uh, there is a pivot over here uh, there is a plate upper plate and the lower plate now both of these are connected with the uh, with the uh, voltages like um, positive and negative terminal of the battery or or, uh, or the uh, supply now uh, when when the uh, when the vehicle accelerates in uh, vertical directions now this uh, plate you can observe that this pivot is uh, not at, at exactly at the center it's like it's certain uh, at a certain distance from the center now when the vehicle accelerates in the uh, y direction there will be a force acting somewhere somewhere about here that is at the center of the plate so uh, the, this will create a moment now that will be uh, rotating this plate now uh, with the help of that the distance between this uh, these two will be changing in this manner all right so in this way the acceleration in z axis is also sensed now we'll be seeing uh, the piezo resistive accelerometer uh, which is also a mems device so what happened uh, in piezo resistive accelerometer is uh, is that we have a silicon chip uh, which is uh, I'll, I'll be explaining with a photo actually now uh, what happens is there is a mass similar to those of capacitor now when the when there is acceleration uh, uh, this this uh, mass moves either upwards or downwards or in x direction or in y direction all right so uh, what happens due to this movement is that there is a strain in this uh, in this part of the uh, sensor now at this portion there is a piezo resistive elements which is attached now we know that when the the state shape changes of a piezo resistive element the resistance also changes now uh, this is framed in such a way that it forms a wheat stone bridge now mm, when the resistance changes the voltage across these two points will also change uh, since the re if the resistance are equal like in ratio r1 by r2 is equal to r3 by r4 the potential reading will be zero uh, the, this potential reading will be zero and uh, when the resistance changes the potential difference will be there all right so due to which the uh, the potential difference is sensed by ecu and then uh, it is manipulated as the acceleration in either x direction or y direction or z direction so in this way uh, the strain is converted into electrical signals in the piezo resistive accelerometer so next is the piezo electric accelerometer uh, it also works in a similar concept there is a mass which is which is kept uh, out of the piezo electric material this is a crystal which is a piezoelectric now uh, when when the vehicle is at constant is at static position uh, this mass is pushing the crystal uh, when the uh, when the vehicle accelerates let us ac uh, assume it accelerates in vertical direction now what happens is if if the uh, vehicle is jumping in vertical directions uh, the pseudo force acts in this mass which pushes or changes the shape of this crystal now when when the uh, crystal changes its shape uh, the piezoelectric element has a property that it it, it creates uh, electric field or uh, Sorry, potential. It creates potential across its its width. Now this uh, this uh, amount of voltage depends upon this formula, where G is the voltage sensitivity, A is the acceleration, M is the mass of the seismic uh, seismic mass. Uh, capital A is the area, cross sectional area uh, at which this mass is kept, and T T is the thickness of the crystal. Uh, all right. So uh, when the when the deformation is sensed, uh, the poten electric potential is generated. Now, this, due to this electric potential, there is a change in the potential difference. Now we'll 
will be understanding uh, the same with the help of a video. An accelerometer is an electromechanical device that can convert mechanical forces such as motion, vibration, and shock into an electrical signal that can be measured and recorded. In the industrial sector, where vibration levels must be monitored to ensure that machinery is operating at peak efficiency, piezoelectric accelerometers are the most widely used vibration sensors out there. There are many different form factors among piezoelectric accelerometers, but the one thing they all have in common is the piezoelectric element. Here's how it works. In this industrial vibration sensor, the piezoelectric element is attached to a weight called the sensor mass, forming what's called a spring mass system in the sensor. When vibration is applied to the system through the base, the mass produces an alternating force on the piezo element, which produces an electrical charge proportional to the vibration velocity and frequency. An integrated amplifier converts the charge into a usable voltage signal that can be read by a vibration meter. Because of their wide frequency response, good sensitivity, and easy installation, piezoelectric accelerometers can be found in many industrial and scientific applications, such as measuring low-frequency vibrations in robotics, in automotive applications detecting engine vibrations, in industrial and HVAC systems monitoring electric motor vibrations, detecting high-frequency vibration in gear noise analysis and turbine monitoring, high-impact shock testing, as well as measuring seismic vibration levels on roads and bridges to tidal force and even earthquakes. So I hope uh, this is clear. Now, what are the applications? Is uh, is pretty much clear with the videos, so, alright. But uh, main applications as per the automotive is uh, the collision system, like uh, the deploying of uh, airbag system, uh, alright. Uh, so uh, even the vibration in the engine can be sensed with the help of the uh, accelerometer sensor. Uh, even uh, le uh, stability control, ESSC, electronic stability control in the vehicles uses accelerometer sensors along with the help of a gyroscope to uh, find uh, the vehicle position, uh, orientation and dynamic conditions. Uh, the other is the vibra vibration and shock measurements in all, all the parts of the uh, automotive like in active suspension it can be used. So uh, we'll be seeing advantages and disadvantages of accelerometer sensor. Uh, so it's very simple to interface. All right, we just have to connect two points, two pins into the ECU or interface or amplifier. Second thing is it's it has a higher impedance, uh, offers high sensitivity, high frequency response. So even if you hit a uh, hit uh, in uh, this sensor with a small pen, it will sense the the vibration. Uh, so it has a high frequency response also. Now it. Uh, the due to the development in men's technology the cost is also becoming lower it was it's it's pretty high uh, it was pretty high pretty high when the men's technology technology wasn't advanced but it's becoming uh, uh, like it's decreasing its cost uh, year by year so uh, it uses a built-in signal conditioning uh, conditioning like uh, the noises are already eliminated uh, what are the disadvantages like we can only sense the acceleration we can't sense the uh, co constant uh, velocity all right uh, so we can sense the acceleration in all the three directions but we can't sense the uh, the constant velocity now for electronic stability control we need a gyroscope so it won't uh, provide us the uh, movement or movement about the x so it is sensitive to temperature, uh, hence there are some parameters which is already taken in care while designing it. Uh, it has high efficiency, uh, like, uh, but uh, the deficiency degrades over the time. Now it requires external power for operation, not piezoelectric, the, but piezoresistive and piezo cap uh, the capacitive type of accelerometer needs external power. The other disadvantages are uh, less longevity and hysteresis loss because uh, we are using uh, strain. So uh, there are springs which which uh, with the help of uh, on use, uh, it it uh, have a stereosis loss. Uh, so due to that that loss, the some sometime the re after long uh, use, it have a error some error of reading. So it has to be again calibrated. So what? Uh, these are the manufacturers of uh, accelerometer sensor. There are a lot of accelerometer sensors manufacturers, but these are most popular ones. Thank you. That's all from my side. Uh, Thank you. Thank you.